Kurt, where are you going? Soccer practice? No, look at the rules. Ugh, this again? No leaving the house past 3 p.m., bedtime by 7 p.m., and mowing the lawn every day. I'm so sick of my mom being so controlling. I don't care what she says or what anyone else says. I'm going to soccer practice. Kurt, honey, I need you to clean the toilet right now. Kurt, where are you? Kurt, come back. All right, I've been practicing all day. Just gotta kick this last goal. Ah, oh man, ankle hurts bad. Oh. Kurt, are you okay? Dude, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble if your parents find out you're hurt. Uh, I think I'm fine. Don't even say that. They're way too controlled. Kurt, Kurt, there you are. We thought you died. Dad, you need to get off the field. Dad, you're embarrassing me. Leave me alone. I'm in the middle of practice. You can't just barge in here like that. This is an active field. He's breaking the rules. Kurt, you need to come home now. Uh, fine. You are in big trouble, young man. You guys never let me do anything. You're always forcing me to do what you want. I don't want to live by these stupid rules. These rules are to protect you, Kurt. You need to learn that. Oh, I don't care about any of this. I just want to be a regular kid. You guys haven't been the same since Eric passed away. That's because we don't want to lose another son. Eric was sick, Dad. There was nothing you could have done. We're trying to make sure you're safe, Kurt. We can't bear to lose you too. I need to live my life, Dad. You can't protect me from everything. Hey, Kurt. Come outside. I have something I want you to see. Mom, what are you doing? I found out you've been sneaking video games into the house. You keep breaking the rules, Mom, Kurt. Mom, no! You're being crazy! I saved up all my money for that! Now you'll have more time to concentrate on school instead of video games. Ugh, I can't believe you! I can. I'll pick you up at exactly 2 p.m. 2 p.m., Kurt! Don't be late! Ugh, okay. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Clearly better than you. Dude, are your parents still on you for sneaking out to soccer practice? Uh, of course they are. I just wish they weren't so protective of everything I do. Well, at least the entire school doesn't know about the soccer incident. Hey, Kurt, is your dad going to drive into the school to pick you up today? Uh, shut up, Kyle. Leave him alone. You're such a loser, Kurt. Always doing what your mommy and daddy tell you. Have fun living life like a stupid idiot. Oh, this sucks. My parents controlling my life is really starting to affect me. Everyone at school seems to know about all the crazy things they're doing. Sometimes I just wish I could get away from it all. It must be hard dealing with parents like that. Ugh, you have no idea. I can barely see any of my friends outside of school because all my parents let me do is chores and homework. My dad thinks he's protecting me, but he doesn't realize he's ruining my life. I miss hanging out with you, man. Yeah, man, I miss it too. Now, let's go before we're late to class. Dang, it's almost 2 p.m. My dad's gonna be waiting for me. I wish I didn't have to go home. Hey, Kurt. Oh, hey, Beth. Uh, nice to see you. Sorry to hear about your soccer practice the other day. Yeah, my dad can be a little crazy sometimes. That's okay. I never knew my parents, so maybe you're lucky to have them. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyways, I was thinking about going to the mall after school. Do you want to come? Wait, like, just us? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'm supposed to be getting picked up at 2. Oh, right. The controlling parents. No worries. Forget it. I I'm down to go to the mall. Wait, really? Yeah, we just need to go out the back exit so my dad doesn't see me. <laughs> well, I'm happy that we're finally going to be able to hang out. It is 2.01. Okay. Where is Kurt? Where is he? Ugh, that's it. Oh, man. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I had such a great time with you tonight. I can't remember the last time I got to go out and have fun like this. Why stop here? Maybe we should go out more. <sighs> Trust me, I want to, but my parents just treat me like a baby, even though I'm almost an adult. I mean, that is super annoying, but it's kind of sweet in a way. <sighs> Trust me, Beth, it's definitely not sweet. It could be worse. They could not care about you at all. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just wish I could have a normal relationship with them again. That's a bummer. Maybe they'll come around again. Regardless, I really had a great time too. I really hope we can do this again. Yeah, so do I. Hey, are you Kurt? Uh, yeah, that's me. Why, are you looking for me? You need to come with me right now. You've been reporting missing and your parents have been calling us over and over and over again. It's super annoying. What? I'm not going with you. I'm staying out. Uh, Kurt, what's going on? See, this is what I'm talking about, Beth. I'm just doing my job. You better come with me right now before you get in even more trouble. I said no. Then you leave me no choice. You're under arrest. What? Oh, hey! Oh, I'm sorry, Beth. 
It is your stupid son. Now stop calling us so much. Thank you so much for bringing him home. Yeah, sure, man. Just stop calling us every five minutes. What is wrong with you guys? You are so controlling. You called the cops on me just because I was late? We were worried. You didn't answer your phone. We're just trying to protect you. No, you're just trying to control me. Kurt, we're doing this because we love you. No, Dad, you're doing this because you're grieving Eric and you're ruining my life because of it. Kurt, that is not true. We're just trying to keep you safe. You're suffocating me. I can't even be a normal teenager. We can't bear to lose another child, Kurt. But you're losing me by treating me like this. Kurt, we're just trying to do what's best for you. What's best for me is having a life outside of this house. Friends, fun, normal life experiences. We're just scared, Kurt. We don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. Eric had cancer. Me going on a date isn't going to make me sick and die. You guys need to realize that. I'm sorry you feel that way, Kurt, but we want you to have a good life when you're older. And if we can't stop you from making mistakes and getting hurt, it will be good for you. I need to make mistakes to learn, Mom. You can't keep me in a bubble my whole life. But we can while you live under this roof. That's right, Kurt. You broke the rules. You're grounded. What? Are you serious? It's for your own good. Oh, you just don't get it. We're not done here, Kurt. Yes, we are. Ugh. I hate doing this. This sucks. Hey, Kurt. What's up with the soccer tournament? Hey, Ben. I can't go. I'm grounded for months. What? Man, that really sucks. Team is gonna miss you, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, it's just not fair. I'm almost an adult and they're still treating me like a child. You shouldn't put up with this. You deserve to have a life outside of this house. I know, but there's not much I can do. My parents are just too controlling. Have you tried talking to them about it? Of course I have, but they don't listen. They're just too scared of losing me like they lost Eric. I get that, but you gotta be able to live your own life too, bro. <sighs> I know, I just, I wish they understood that. Kurt, you're breaking the rules again. Having a friend over, you know that's not allowed. I'm just mowing the lawn, Dad. Ben's not even inside the house. Uh, sir, I was just walking by and I saw Kurt outside. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You need to leave right now, Benjamin. Come on, Dad, he didn't do anything wrong. Kurt, this is not up for discussion. You're grounded and Ben has to leave. All right, Kurt, see you later, man. Yeah, see you later. Now keep mowing the lawn and keep the lines straight. Looks like a mess. Hey, Kurt, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, have you been ignoring me or something? No, I'm not ignoring you. I'm grounded. My parents took my phone away. Oh, th that's rough. Well, I am glad that it wasn't something that I did. Also, I can't believe you got arrested last time we hung out. Yeah, no kidding. Just my parents overreacting again. Even the cops were annoyed with them. I'm going to start living a normal life soon. I, I can't take this anymore. I know it's tough, but... But at least you have parents who care about you. I don't even know mine. Oh, man. You're right, Beth. I shouldn't take them for granted. Look, I'm not saying they're perfect, but sometimes it's better to have parents who care too much than not at all. Yeah, that is true. I appreciate you being so cool about it. Well, of course. I'm always here for you, Kurt. Let's go! Now! Uh, I've gotta go, Beth. My dad's waiting for me. Oh, it's all right. Just remember what I said, okay? It's not all that bad. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Beth. See you later. Janine, we're home. Kurt, we just saw your report card, and you got a B plus? You know we expect straight A's from you. What? How'd you get my report card already? We annoyed the principal enough, and he started sending us to them every single week. This is getting ridiculous. Who cares if I got a B plus and not an A? Um, you should care, Kurt. You won't be a millionaire if you don't get straight A's. You're not a millionaire either. What has gotten into you? Is this because of that Beth girl you've been spending so much time with? How do you know about Beth? We have to know who you're hanging out with, Kurt. Oh, man, you guys are driving me crazy. That's enough, Kurt. You're not going to see Beth anymore. You can't do that. I'm not a child anymore. We're serious, Kurt. It's our job to make sure you succeed in Just life. Just because I don't get an A doesn't mean I won't succeed in We're life. We're doing this for your own good. No, you're doing it for yourselves because you can't let go of what happened to Eric. This isn't about Eric. It's about you. You're granted for another month. Now go to your don't room. Don't you remember how life was before all this happened? We used to be happy. Now you guys are protecting me and ruining our relationship. You see that, Stop right? Stop blaming us, Kurt. You're the one who broke the rules. You guys don't get it. I've had enough of this. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I need to leave. I'm going to live life my own way. 
can't believe I actually left my parents. Might be mad, but it is their fault. I can't be going off to college never experiencing life. I'm not sure what to do next, though. I could sleep here tonight, or maybe I can go to Ben's house. Hey, man. I'm free. I'm finally free. Hey, kid. Give me your stuff, kid. What? No way. I'm not giving you anything. Ow! <laughs> That's what you get for trying to run, kid. Uh, you won't get away with this. <laughs> I sure will. Good luck catching hey, me. Hey, wait. No. Come back. Oh, I got away. Dang it. I won't let this ruin my freedom. I just need to figure out my next move. Kurt, what are you doing? Ben, I ran away from home. I need a place to stay. Whoa, really? Huh, come on in, man. Oh, thanks, dude. Are you sure this is the best idea, Kurt? Running away? Hey, anything is better than living with my controlling parents, Ben. I'm just done with them. I can't take it anymore in that house. Well, I mean, it's your home. Hey, what's going on here, boys? Oh, Dad! Uh, Kurt ran away from home and needs a place to stay. Well, really? Well, I understand, Kurt, but you should really go back home. I can't, Mr. Johnson. I won't go back there. I understand that you're going through a tough time, Kurt, but running away isn't the solution. Dad, can't you just stay here for like a little while? Come on! I can't make that decision without talking to your mother, Ben. And, Kurt, your parents must be worried sick about you. I'm surprised they haven't called me 20 times by now. They're the ones who pushed me to this point, Mr. Johnson. And I get that. But running away won't solve anything. You need to face the problem and try to work things out with them. Kurt, my dad's right. Maybe there's a better way to handle this. Well, maybe. I just don't know what else to do. You need to call your parents. No way. Please don't call them. Kurt, you're putting me in a bad spot here. Promise me you won't call them. Ugh, fine. I'll go put some pizza rolls in the oven. Dad, someone's at the door. I wonder who this is. Man, it's so cool of your dad to let me stay here. Thank you for everything. Yeah, for real, man. I'm glad it's all working out. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Please, Mr. Johnson, we just want to talk to Kurt. Kurt, someone's at the door for you. I know I promised, Kurt, but- Mr. Johnson, how can you do this? You betrayed me! Kurt, come home with us, now! I'm never coming home. I moved out. Deal with it. You can't just move out with nowhere to go! Do you even care about what is actually good for me? Or do you just care about yourself? Let's be real about this right now. Oh, you want to be real right now, young man? Fine! I am sick of your nonsense! Get home now! I am so sorry, Dad, but I can't do that. I am not going Kurt! back. Kurt, stop running! We just want to talk! Uh, I don't think chasing him will help. We just want what's best for him, Mr. Johnson. We're so afraid of, of losing him, too. I know you are, but maybe it's time to let him make some choices on his own. Fred, maybe we've been a little too hard on him. When will my parents finally get the message? I'm not going back. Well, 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 look who it is. You again? Hey, give me my stuff back. You really think I still have it? Huh, I pawned that off weeks ago. Well, whatever. I don't have anything left for you to take. I can see that. Run away from home again, huh? You're starting off just like me. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to be anything like you. You're already on that path, kid. But trust me, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Why should I trust you? You stole my stuff. I never had parents who cared about me like yours do. It's a shame you don't appreciate it. Back off. You don't know anything about me. Shut up, kid. I don't really care about you either. I'm just telling you how it is. Well, don't. I see you over there, Vinny. Oh, man. I gotta get out of here. Hey, wait. Give me my stuff back, you jerk. And you. There you are. Kurt, get in the car. Your parents are worried sick. Oh, no. Come on. Please. I don't want to go home. You have no choice, kid. Your parents are the most annoying people on the planet. If they call me again because you're not home, I'm just going to arrest you and throw you in jail. I can't deal with this anymore. <sighs> okay, fine. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, this is the last time I better be dropping him off. You need to figure this out because we can't keep picking him up. He's going to be 18 very soon. We know, officer. We appreciate all your help. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. Can we talk about this? <sighs> yes, we need to. We never wanted things to be like this, Kurt. We know we've been a little strict. We just don't want to lose you too. I know, but you don't realize you're pushing me away. I never meant to hurt you, Kurt. We just wanted to protect you. I understand, but I can't live like this anymore. I need some freedom. We don't want to lose you, but we understand that we need to give you some space. We will loosen up on some things, but you have to promise that you won't break the other rules. <sighs> I, I promise. Thank you, thank you both so much for understanding. 
We just want you to be happy, Kurt. We trust you to make the right decisions. I mean, we raised you right after all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. I, I won't let you down. It's so amazing that you're here with me right now. I know. It, it feels great to be out. My parents haven't bothered me once today. So, what's next on your new profound freedom list? Tomorrow, I'm finally going to get my driver's license. I wasn't allowed to get one before because driving was too dangerous for them. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's great that you and your parents worked out your differences. I want to thank you, Beth, for talking about your parents. You really gave me an insight into my own relationship with mine. Well, I'm happy to help you. We all need someone to talk to. Yeah. You're a great friend, Beth. Oh, don't get too sappy on me. I'm about to beat you in another game. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Yo, Ben! Dude, you finally got your license? No way! Yes way, man! Come on, we're going for a ride! Oh, sweet! Dude, isn't this car sick? Man, this is awesome. Now we can go literally wherever we want. Maybe we should go get burgers or something. Yeah, that sounds great. Kurt, watch out! Are you guys okay? I'm hurt, but uh, my friend Ben seems okay. Yo, yo, I'm fine, but Kurt needs help. Well, luckily I'm here, and we need to call your parents. What? Oh no, please don't. They'll be so mad. We, uh, we just started getting along again. I'm sorry, but we got no choice. You're not 18 yet. No, no, dude, please don't do this to me. For your own good, kid, trust me. Uh, this is not good. There he is! This is exactly why we didn't want you to do all of these things! We were so scared something like this would happen to you! And look! We were right! Listen, guys, it's fine. I need to be able to make my own choices. This accident could have happened to anyone. But it happened to you. We can't let you get hurt right before you graduate. It wasn't even my fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it was, Kurt. You're our son and we have to protect you. But I can't live my life in a bubble, Dad. I need to experience things and learn from them. We understand that, but we can't bear the thought of losing you, too. From now on, we're going to be more controlling again. More than ever! It's for your own good! No, Dad! This isn't fair! I've proven that I can handle more freedom! We know, but we can't take any more chances, Kurt! This isn't a way to protect me! It's just suffocating Kurt, me! Kurt, your mother and I have made our decision! We love you and want what's best for you, but we can't let this happen ever again! Man, you guys lied to me. Typical. Can't believe this! Yo, dude. Are you feeling okay? No, I'm feeling terrible. My parents are super controlling again. And I can't do anything about it. It's the worst case scenario. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That really sucks. You! You're a bad influence on my son! This accident is your fault! Dad, stop being a jerk! Ben didn't cause the accident! I don't want you hanging out with my son anymore! Get off my property! Go! Go on, get! Oh, yeah. I'll go! I'm sorry, Kurt! You didn't have to do that! Ben's my friend! I'm just trying to protect you, Kurt! Well, you're not doing a very good job! You're just making everything worse! I'm just trying to do what's best! Kurt, this letter came for you. Oh, really? For me? Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. What? W what What does the letter say? I got accepted into college. I'm actually going to university. That's fantastic, son. Which college? It's Roblox University. Oh, man, I can't wait to go. Wait, Roblox University? Isn't that a few states away? Yeah, it's right near the ocean. Oh, man. I bet that view will be great. No, no, no. That is too far away. You can't go there. What do you mean I can't go? I worked hard to get accepted. I I'm going. All right, let's just talk about this, okay? This is a big, big decision. It is my future, and it's my decision. I'm going to Roblox University. We're happy for you, but we just don't want you to be so far away. Uh, I'm sorry. You can't go to that school. You you have to pick a different one. Ugh, this is my future we're talking about. I want to do what's best for me. Look, we know this pizza isn't the healthiest, but it's your birthday, so enjoy! You're 18 now, Kurt. You can make some decisions on your own. But remember, we're still here for guidance. Right. Uh, speaking of decisions, I made a choice about college. Oh, we know. You're going to that community college here in town, right? <sighs> no. I'm going to Roblox University. I've already decided. We told you you can't go there. It's too far away. Well, Dad, I'm 18 now. I'm moving out this week, and I'm going to Roblox University. You can't be serious, Kurt. You're not moving out. You're staying here and going to community college like we planned. I'm 18. I can make my own decisions. I'm going to Roblox University, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Dean, I am getting furious, and I'm going to cause a scene. All right, let's go. 
I can't believe you're really doing this, Kurt. Feels like we're losing another son. <sighs> Dad, I'm not Eric. I'm still your son, but you need to stop guilting me. Eric died from cancer, and there's nothing anyone could have done to control that. We just wanted what's best for you, Kurt. You're being so selfish, only thinking of yourself. You know what? Maybe I have to be selfish sometimes. I'm glad I'm moving out. Maybe it's best you don't come back for a while. I'll just finish loading up the truck. Good, I was getting sick of this anyways. I can't believe I'm finally free from my parents. I don't ever have to see them again. Hey, hey, I get that you don't want to be controlled by them, but remember, I'd give anything to see my parents again. You don't understand what it's like living with them, Beth. Hey, you're right, I never will, but maybe one day you'll realize what it's like to live without parents at all. Uh, it's a wrong number. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's just enjoy our new freedom, okay? Okay, let's go check out these clubs over here. Dude, Samantha's like the prettiest girl in my algebra class. I think I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, man, you should. Oh, this is awesome. I haven't been to a party in years. I have to admit, it's been pretty awesome to hang out all the time, too. I'm glad we went to school together. Yeah, same here, man. This has been a dream. Hi, no old farts allowed. Uh, whose smelly old parents are here? They're totally killing the vibe. Oh, no, please tell me those aren't my parents. Y'all, sorry, dude. It's definitely them. Oh, jeez. Hold on a minute. What are you guys doing here? Hi, honey. We came to check on you. And we're glad we did. Clearly, Ben is still a bad influence. You should be studying right now in your dorm room. You need to leave right now. We just want to make sure you're doing well and succeeding. I'm doing perfectly fine. See? You need to let me live my life. This is what we get for traveling all the way to see you? Not even a hello, mom. Hi, dad. Thanks for raising me. I can't believe this. You should really apologize to your father. No, I'm not going to apologize to him. Just leave, Mom. You know what? Fine. Oh, man, finally. University. Oh, it feels good to actually have some freedom away from my parents. Another phone call from Dad? I think I'll just pretend I didn't see that. Does anyone know the answer? Uh, yeah, sir, I do. Eagles MC Square. <laughs> this is so much fun. We have to come back here again. <laughs> totally. Oh my goodness, they never leave me alone. Why have you been ignoring them? I, I don't know. I, I just want to live my life without them constantly breathing down my neck. And look, see, it's them again. Maybe I should answer it. What? No, no, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to shut my phone off. I know it sounds mean, but I can't have them bothering me every two seconds. I even got in trouble in class the other day because of it. Well, maybe we can get some coffee and that will cheer you up. Yeah, you know, I, I'd like that. So, Ben, we have some news we want to tell you. That you guys are dating? <laughs> yeah, we are. Finally decided to make it official, huh? Took him long enough. I mean, it's kind of obvious you guys hang out all the time. Dude, are you going to answer that? What? No, I'm not. This is literally the 30th phone call today. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. It's like spam calls. But worse, because it's your parents. Yeah, I know, but I'm doing well in school, and I have you guys. I don't want any distractions. Well, just know that we're always here for you. Kurt, we've been trying to call you. Uh, yeah, I saw. What do you want? Why are you here? I knew it. It was these two that made you not call us. Why would you hang out with such losers, Kurt? Oh, you mean my best friend and my girlfriend? We don't want you around these people. They've been... A bad influence your entire life. You can't control who I hang out with. I love them and they're staying in my life. You're endangering yourself by being with them. That's ridiculous. I'm doing well in school and I'm happy. You can't take that away from me. Like I've said a hundred times, we just want what's best for you. Well then mom, for a hundred times, what's best for me is being with people I care about. And clearly that's not us. Come on, Janine, let's go. I'm gonna lose it again. I can't believe this. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just glad I have you guys. It'll be okay. We're here for you. So, how have you been feeling lately? I mean, with not hearing from your parents at all. <sighs> Honestly, it's been weird. They were always controlling, but now they're, they're not calling, and I, I kind of miss them. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that. And like I said before, at least they care. It might be a lot, but I know they genuinely love you, and they want what's best for you. 
Uh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure this is hurting them a lot too, but the boundaries are healthy, you know? You're definitely right about that, but maybe try to see it from their side, and it wouldn't hurt to go see them ever so often. I think I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to pay them a surprise visit. I think that'll be good, and you'll feel better about it. You know, maybe it'll make your relationship stronger. You never know. Mom, Dad, are you guys home? Kurt, what are you doing here? I haven't heard from you guys. I, I just wanted to come and say hi. Where's Dad? Oh, he's out. What's going on? <sighs> well, um, I've been thinking a lot about everything, and I hate that we don't talk anymore. I miss you guys, and I, I want to make things right. That's good to hear. We've missed you too. Um, I have something to tell you while you're here. Uh, yeah, sure. What's up? Listen, Kurt, um, your father isn't doing so well. He, he didn't want me to tell you, but I think it's important that you should know. He's been sick, and he's realized that he won't always be here to take care of you, so he decided to respect your wishes and not contact you anymore. That's sick? I had no idea. Mom, you, you know that this isn't what I meant by wanting space, right? I always want you guys in my life, I just didn't want you controlling it. I know, and we messed up too. I need to go talk to Dad. I'll be back later so we can all talk about this. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Kurt. Dad's gotta be here. This is his usual spot. Hey, d Dad! Kurt, what are you doing here? I just, I just wanted to come by. Y you guys haven't called in a while. That's what you wanted, so... I didn't want you guys to disappear on me, though. Look, Dad, Mom told me you're sick. Why didn't you tell me? She told you? Ugh, I was hurt. I was hurt that you abandoned me. I didn't abandon you. I just needed to live my own life. It doesn't mean I want you guys out of it. Why are you constantly guilt-tripping me? Look, uh, I'm sorry, okay? You were right. It was hard for me to get over what happened to your brother. And I was so afraid of losing you. I tried to control everything and made it worse. I'm so happy to hear you say that. <coughs> oh. oh, no! Oh! Dad? Dad, are you okay? 911? I need an ambulance right away! Come on, Dad, it's gonna be okay. Oh, great. Are you his son? Yes, doctor, please. What's wrong with my dad? Your dad needs a kidney transplant, like now, or he's gonna die. I will give him my kidney if he needs one. It does look like you're a match. This is really risky. Are you sure you wanna do this? I'm 100% sure. Please, save my dad. But Kurt, that was so risky. It's okay to take a little risk sometimes, dad. Especially if it helps the ones you love. Come on, let's go home. Go for it, you big baby! Okay, Jason, you're nervous, but you've got to give it a shot! Jason! Mom! You have homework to do, young man, and instead you're doing something so dangerous! Mom, stop it! You're embarrassing me! Oh, get away to this loser! Whoa, what a big baby! Who's Jason? Come on, Jason, we're leaving right now! I've got to get back to the skate park. Just got to make sure Mom doesn't see me. Stop right there, young man. Oh, uh, hey, Mom. Going somewhere? Look, I'm going to the skate park, okay? You're not leaving this house. End of discussion. That's not fair. Why do you hate me so much? Jason, stop being so dramatic. I can't stand the idea of you getting hurt. Not after what happened to your father. Mom? Jason? What's going on? Drew, go back to your room. Everything's fine. I don't like it when you guys fight. Just stop it, okay? Don't worry, honey. We're done here. Jason, you're grounded. Now go to bed. Hey, man. After school, I'm heading to the skate park. You're coming with me, right? I don't know, Carter. My mom's being really strict lately. Dude, that's brutal. You have to come. Kyle Maxington is going to be there. Wait, seriously? I just don't think I can. Dude, I wish my mom let me do things like your parents did. They seem to let you do whatever you want. Yeah, it's pretty chill at my place, but trust me, it's not all that great. Sometimes I wonder if my dad even cares about me. Whoa, if it isn't the biggest losers in school, Jason and Carter. Oh, great. It's Trevor, the biggest jerk in school. Shut up. You're poor. Maybe you're just jealous because I'm a better skateboarder than you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to be at the skate park after school. You can prove it to me then. That is, if your mom's going to let you go. You know what? I'll be there, and I'll show you who the better skateboarder really is. Yeah, whatever, loser. See ya. Don't let him get to you, dude. Yeah, I won't. Mind if I borrow your board? Yeah, of course. Okay, I know mom doesn't want me here, but this is my shot to prove myself to Kyle Maxington. This could be my big break, okay? Oh, man. There he is. Uh, hey, Kyle. I'm Jason. I'm a big fan and a, and a skater like you. 
Chaw's up, dude. Uh, I've been working really hard on my moves. Mind if I show you a few? Chaw, absolutely, little man. <laughs> show me what you've got. All right, check this out. Jason Cooper, how could you do this? I told you skateboarding is too dangerous. No, 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 not, not right now, mom. Please, look, look, there's, there's a famous guy. He's, his name's Kyle. I just want to show him something. Yeah, hold on a second. Is this your mom, dude? Yes, I am his mother, and I know what's best for him. Uh, look, I wanted to see your tricks, but like with all this negativity, it's really messing with my mindset. Uh, little dude, you're like banned from the skate park. Now leave and like never come back. And when you're done with school, I want you to come straight home. You got it? You're never this strict to the Drew. That's because Drew's dedicated to his studies. He's getting straight A's and he's going to college. He's going to become a doctor. It's not like I'm failing school. I get A's too. Mom, Jason's got a point. He doesn't get in trouble and sometimes college isn't the path for everyone. Exactly. Thank you. I just need you to be a little less strict and let me have some freedom. Come on, Mom. Lighten up a little. <sighs> Maybe I have been a bit overprotective. I only do it because I love you and I worry about you. Yeah, I know you love me, Mom, but I just want to prove that I can take care of myself too. How about we make a deal? I'll give you a week to show me that you can handle a little more freedom. But if things go wrong, I'll have no choice but to be strict. Got it? Got it. Good. But no skateboarding. Ugh, skateboarding. Who even does that? Psst, psst. Here, man, take your skateboard. Wait, what? No way. How did you find it? I have my ways. I've got your back, okay? This will be our little secret. Thanks, Drew. You're the best. I really need some new gear. It's gonna help me get better. That way, I can show Mom that I can handle skating responsibly. Yo, look who's here. The band Skater. <laughs> what are you doing at the skate shop, loser? I'm here to get some new gear, man. I don't need the skate park to keep practicing. Oh, really? Hey, Frank! This guy's trying to steal stuff from your store! What? What the heck? Who's stealing my stuff? This guy's trying to steal, Frank. You should probably kick him out. Dude, what? No, I'm not. Look, I just wanted to buy some new gear. I I'd pay you at the register. Ugh, I hate you stupid broke kids. Come in here! Never buying anything with your dumb no money. I'm sick of it! Get out now! I have the money here. I'm not stealing. Out! I said out! Don't come back! Hey, Carter, check this out. Whoa, dude, that was crazy. You're really stepping up your game, man. Thanks. I've been putting in a lot of practice. Cha, little dude, that trick was incredible, man. I had no idea you had those moves in you. Whoa, Kyle Maxi Tid. Dude, you're like a legend. Cha, I know, thanks. Sorry I had to kick you out of the skate park, dude. But, you know, your mom was just like, not a vibe, man. Yeah, I know. She's just super strict and she ruins everything. Cha, I know the feeling. My mom used to be like that too to me. But, uh, listen, I'm organizing a competition in a few days, and I'm giving away a sponsorship opportunity, man. I'd love to see you there, bro. Really? That sounds awesome. But what about the skate park ban? Yeah, shoot, I, I put the ban, I could just lift it, dude. You know who I am? I'm Kyle Moxington. But on one condition, you come here without your mom. Dude, this is incredible. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. I'll definitely be there. Great, man. Can't wait to see what you've got. See you at the competition, bros. Guys, you won't believe what happened today. What's up, little bro? I just got invited to this cool skating competition by Kyle Maxington. What? No way. That's incredible, Jason. Skateboarding competition? Oh, no. No way. Oh, come on, Mom. I told you no skateboarding ever, and you're going to get yourself hurt. Mom, please just understand that this is a big deal. Kyle himself invited me. He's a professional. This could be Jason's big break. I understand, but I can't help but worry about your safety. Mom, I, I promise I'll wear all the right protective gear like always, and, and I'll be careful. I just can't imagine going through losing another family member. I, this competition is my chance to show everyone what I'm capable of. It's, it's my first step toward becoming a pro skater. You have to let him do this, Mom. All right, fine. Just promise me you'll be safe. Anything happens, I'll have to be strict again. Uh, what are you doing here? 
I'm here for the competition. I'm already at the top of the leaderboard. You're going to have to pull off something sick to beat me. Don't worry. I've been saving a trick just for this moment. All right, folks. It's time for the newcomer Jason to show us what he's got. This is it. Showtime. Wow. Jason's really giving it all he's got out there. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> ah, ouch. Ah. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Hey, are you okay? What hurts? It's my arm. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look too good. We need to get you to the hospital and call your parents, man. What? No way. Please, you can't do that. Yeah, I I'm sorry, kid, but it's literally my job. I have to. I have to follow protocol. It's for your safety. Your son's arm isn't broken, fortunately. But he's very lucky he didn't get seriously hurt attempting that stupid trick. You're absolutely right. It was the dumbest thing he's ever done. Uh-huh. I'll be back with the medical bill. Thank you, doctor. I knew something like this would happen. You could have seriously injured yourself trying to show off like that. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. It was just an accident. I didn't plan for this to happen. Accident or not, I can't believe you're so reckless. I told you how dangerous skating is, and you didn't listen to me. And look at you now. You're hurt. Look, I'm going to be okay, though. You know I need to do this, Mom. Skating is my passion. I can't just give up on it. You don't understand, Jason. I, I can't lose you like I lost your father. When I say no more skating now, I mean it. I know you're scared, but you can't let fear control our lives. Dad's accident was tragic but I can't let it dictate everything I do. Enough of this. I never want to hear another word about skating or competitions or dreams ever again. You live in my house and you follow my rules. And that is final. Where do you think you're going? Look, I already told you. I'm heading to Carter's house to do our homework. Fine. Before you go anywhere, I need you to turn your location on on your phone. You're kidding, right? Oh, no. I'm serious. I don't trust you anymore. You want me to turn on my location just to hang out at Carter's? Well, you're not leaving this house until you turn your location on. <sighs> Fine. Look, location is on. Happy now? Uh, man, my mom has seriously lost it since my injury. Hey, at least she cares about you, right? I don't even think my dad cares about what I do. Check it. Hey, Dad, just letting you know we're heading to the skate convention today. We'll be back until, like, super late tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, good for you, Colin. Colin? Ugh. And I'm going to take the car, too. And your credit card. Probably max it out on candy and snacks and stupid stuff. Yeah, 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 all right, I get it, I get it, whatever. Just just go outside so I can hit the TV, all right? The football game is on! See what I mean? My dad literally doesn't care. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it sucks, but at least I get freedom, I guess. I wish I could have some of that freedom, man. My mom's tracking my location, like I'm in some kind of lockdown. Well, maybe I can help you out with that. What do you mean? Just leave your phone here. Leave my phone? Are you nuts? Yeah, I know, but listen, she'll think you're here the whole time. You can finally have a taste of real freedom for once. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like she'll find out somehow. Trust me, she won't suspect a thing. What's the worst that could happen? Touchdown! Yeah, let's go! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't miss this. I told you, dude. It's been ages since I've been able to hang out like this, man. Yeah, you said it. I can't wait for the day you're back out here skating with us, man. Whoa, look who's here, everybody. Jason Idiot Face. <laughs> idiot Face? It's seriously the best you could have come up with? Just go find someone else to bother. Yeah, seriously. Don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, of course I do. Anything is better than talking to you two nerds. Dude, just back off. Literally, Trevor. No one cares what you say or think. That's where you're wrong. I'm the featured skater here. I can do whatever I want. Featured skater? You're nothing but a bully, man. And I'm not just going to let you get away with it anymore. You need to back off, Trevor. Y'all. Ah, what the heck? Don't you touch him. Ah. Oh, my face. <laughs> hey, all of you freeze. You're all under arrest. Yeah, so, like, you should really keep a closer eye on your son, ma'am. He seems to be quite the troublemaker. You're absolutely right, officer. I am so sorry about this. Yeah, you should be, okay? Do a better job raising your child, lady. 
Jason, I can't keep letting you get into these situations. It wasn't my fault this time. Trevor punched Carter and I had to defend him. I don't care whose fault it is. You lied to me about where you were. I clearly can't trust you at all. Look, why do you think I lied, Mom? What am I supposed to do? Just be inside of our house for the rest of my life? I need to know you're safe, Jason. And if that makes me strict, so be it. Bad things happen, Mom, even when people are being protected. It won't change what happened to dad. You don't understand. I am your mother and I know better. I'm doing this because I love you. Yeah, I can't live like this anymore. I'm gonna move out and start making my own decisions. I'm done with all of this. Jason, come back. It's really good to hang out with you again, man. I feel like I haven't seen you much since you got your own place. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. How's college life treating you? It's been great, actually. And guess what? Mom's finally letting me drive on my own. That's awesome, Drew. Finally spreading those wings, huh? Yeah, you bet. Speaking of mom, she's really, really worried about you. I know, but it's not that I don't appreciate her caring about me. I just needed some space. I get it. Mom does mean well, though, but she's been more on your case than she ever was on mine. Yeah, she trusts you way more than me, that's for sure. Anyway, I don't want to talk about mom anymore. I want to hear about you and your skating. How's that going? It's actually going pretty good. Tomorrow, I've got a meeting with Kyle Maxington. We're going to talk about a real sponsorship opportunity. Oh, way. That's incredible, dude. So proud of my little brother. Thanks, Drew. It's been a struggle, but I'm determined to make this work. You've got this, man. I know you can do it. Cha, you've got some serious skills, dude. I've been watching your progress, and I gotta say, you're not far behind Trevor, man, and he's like the best skater in the area. Thanks, Kyle. That means a lot coming from you. Cha, well, I've got an offer for you. We're expanding, and your skills would be a great fit in Kyle Maxington's company. I'm honored. What do I need to do? Next week, we're hitting the streets to film a skating reel for our YouTube channel, man. And this reel is crucial. I want you to be a part of it. Count me in. I'm all for it. Great, dude. Just show up with your A game, bro. Oh, great. It's you. Didn't know they took out the trash today. Dude, look, I don't want any trouble. Trouble? You think you're gonna just waltz right in here and join the team like nothing ever happened? I'm on the team! Yeah, well, Kyle invited me. He believes in my skills. I won't let you ruin this for me, Jason. No way, no how. Well, Kyle thinks differently, and I'm not backing down because of you. Oh, well, you better watch your back. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay far away from this team. Well, I'm not going anywhere, Trevor. I earned my chance, and I'm taking it. Man, living on my own has been great. Huh? What was that? Hello? Who's there? Oh, uh, it's just me, Jason. Mom? What are you doing here? Well, this place is a mess. I can't believe you're living like this. You need to clean this up immediately. You can't just barge into my house like this and start commanding things. Honestly, even when you are on your own, I still have to watch over you. Look at this place. I don't need you to watch over me, Mom. I'm managing just fine. I can't help worrying about you, Jason, and clearly for good reason. Now, come on, let's get the Swiffer and start cleaning. Worrying doesn't mean you breaking into my house just to clean it. Jason, just understand, okay? I care about you. No, you care about controlling me, Mom, and I'm tired of it. I just want what's best for you. Well, your version of what's best isn't what I want. Look, I need my space, Mom. Oh, stop being so dramatic. No, you've pushed me away. And right now, I just need you to leave. So please, Mom, just go. Yo, dude, that was sick. Yeah, thanks for helping me nail down that run for Kyle's video, Carter. You're gonna rock that skating reel. I know it. I sure hope so. So has your mom broken in and folded your laundry or anything lately? Don't even get me started. She's really lost it, dude. I still can't believe she broke into my house last night. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. You know, she's probably just trying to look out for you. Yeah, well, she totally invaded my space. Yeah, I get it. You know, my dad didn't even pick me up from the police station when we got arrested. Wait, are you kidding? No, he made me spend the whole weekend in jail before he finally showed up. A whole weekend? Seriously? Yeah, he's not really like the responsible kind of dad I hope for. So why do you put up with him treating you like that? I mean, yeah, he's not perfect, but he's still my dad. Having him around, even like this, is better than not having him in my life at all. I just wish he could be more normal, you know? Your mom is kind of crazy, but I feel the same way about my dad. Oh, well, at the end of the day, they're our family, 
right? Yeah, we have to love them no matter what. Yeah, all right, guys, listen up. We're going to hit some various spots around town and put together in an epic skating reel. Oh, this is going to be sick. Yeah, Trevor, bro, you've done this before, but for Jason, this is a crucial chance to show what you've got. Are you sure you want to bring him along, Kyle? I mean, he is pathetic. Nah, dude, Jason is sick, man. All right, he's got potential. Thanks, Kyle, and trust me, I'm going to prove it. Jason, you, you, you need to come with me right now. Wait, what? Mom, what are you doing here? Drew was in a car crash, and he's in the hospital right now. Oh, my goodness. God, Jason, like, we're about to start filming and stuff. You coming or not? Nah? Look, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I have to go. It's my brother. He's in trouble. I'm afraid your son has sustained some severe traumatic injuries. We've done everything we can, but the situation is critical. At this point, it's uncertain if he'll wake up or not. Oh, my poor Drew. This is all my fault. I should have been there for him. Mom, there's nothing you could have done, okay? It's not your fault. But, but I, I could have protected him. I could have kept him safe. I just want him to wake up, Jason. Listen to me. If you were there, you might have been hurt too. This wasn't something you could have prevented. Accidents happen, Mom. Don't put it on you. You're right. I can't give up on him. We're doing everything we can, but you need to prepare for the worst possible outcome. Drew needs us to believe, and he'll pull through. I know he will. We'll get through this together. Yeah, I'm like really sorry to hear about your brother, man. Family always comes first, so no doubt about it. Thanks for understanding. Look, I I'm sorry I missed out on making it into the real, though. Yeah, dude, that sucks, bro. Explaining this situation to the team is gonna be a challenge. I get it, but I really believe in myself. I know I can contribute and make you guys proud. Oh, look, I know you've got the skills. You've shown that, but we're a team, and we need everyone to be fully committed. It's not just about tricks. It's about being reliable and dependable. Trust me, I'm committed, Kyle. I know my family's going through a tough time, but skating is also my passion. It's what keeps me going. Yeah, like, of course I know that, and I respect your dedication, dude. But here's what we could do. Send me your own demo tape, a reel of your best moves, and I'll share it with the team, and I'll see what they all think, you know? Thanks, Kyle. Look, you won't regret this. I'll make sure to put together the best demo tape you've ever seen. Thanks for helping me with this, dude. Yeah, of course, man. I know I'm always here for you, but why aren't you spending time with your family right now? I mean, especially with everything going on? It's, uh, it's complicated. I need some space from my mom. She's been really struggling with everything that's happened. Yeah, I bet, but she's doing what she does out of love and concern for you, man. I get that, but she's going about it the complete wrong way. You know, freedom and all that stuff does seem cool, but having someone who cares about you and looks out for you, that's something special. You don't realize it until it's not there. Trust me. You're right. I've been so focused on wanting to prove myself lately that I've kind of forgotten how important family is. My mom just wants what's best for you, even if it feels suffocating at times. Yeah, I need to go talk to her. Let her know that I appreciate what she's doing for me. Yeah, exactly. Hey, mom. How are you holding up? I wanted to come by and make sure you're okay. I'm just upset, Jason. I couldn't protect Drew from what happened, and it's tearing me apart. Look, I know. It's tough for all of us. You know, maybe this is a wake-up call for you. Maybe you'll finally realize I've been right all along. You'll give up the skating thing. Actually, I did something today. I sent my skating reel to Kyle, and I'm hoping to get on the team. You did what? After everything that's happened, you still think pursuing this dangerous hobby is a good idea? Mom, look, I, I came here to talk to you. I, I need you to understand that this is what I want to do. Skating is my passion, and I believe in myself. You're so stubborn, Jason. You won't stop until you get hurt, too. Look, I didn't come here to argue with you. I love you, but I can't let fear dictate my life. Hey, Drew. I, I don't know if you can hear me, but I, I wanted to come by and talk to you. I'm really sorry about what happened, man. I, I wish I could have protected you from all of this. Wow, <laughs> I just sound like mom, don't I? You know, I, I wish I could still reason with her the way that you could. You are always better at talking to her and making her understand things. But I just want you to know, man, that 
I'm doing everything that I am just for you. I'm pursuing the skating dream because at the end of the day, I want to make you proud. You've always been there for me, always had my back, and now it's my turn I have yours. I won't let you down. Hey, idiot face! Oh, great. I saw that stupid little reel you gave Kyle. Gotta say, it was pretty terrible. Is that so? Well, I appreciate your opinion, Trevor. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. There's no way anyone's gonna be impressed by that. Kyle's never gonna respect you for that kind of performance. Oh, yeah? And you know what Kyle thinks, huh? I had no idea that you could read minds. Just shut up, okay? You don't know anything! Hey, are you Jason? Yeah, that's me. What's up, dude? Oh, boy, oh, man. I saw your reel online, and it was, like, incredible, dude. N no way. You must be talking about mine, right? Ooh, gross. I'm talking about Jason's, dude. Are you kidding me? That's basic stuff. Nothing compared to what I can do. You, you guys are both good, okay? Stop, stop being a jerk. Oh, whatever. I've got better things to do. You suck. Your tricks were insane. They were totally radical, man. So cool. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, uh, hold on a second. Sorry, I I've got to take this call. Hello? What? Uh, I'm on my way. Man, skaters can be really intense sometimes, huh? Drew! Dude, I can't believe you're awake! <laughs> hey, Jason. Good to see you, too. I was so worried, man. The doctor didn't know if you were gonna wake up. And I didn't know if I'd ever see you again. Thought you'd never see me again? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, boys. Let's not get too worked up, okay? Drew needs his rest. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Look, I I'm just glad he's okay. We all are. But I'm gonna make sure we get Drew back to his old self. If you didn't throw your life away to your skating, you could also help your brother. But I guess that's just on me now. Mom, can we not talk about that just for one moment? I think it's something worth talking about. You might end up in the hospital next with this dumb skating stuff you keep doing. It's not the time right now. Look, I know you're worried about me and everything that's going on, but I want you to understand that this isn't something I'm ever going to throw away. So you need to deal with that. Jason, I am no mood to argue with you right now. Your brother just woke up. Neither am I, but you're the one that started it. I just got one of my sons back, and I can't help but worry about my other child. You've been taking a lot of risks lately. I hate it! I get it, but you have to trust that I'm doing what's best for myself. You're losing faith in me, and I don't want that. I'm just scared, Jason. I don't want to lose anyone else I care about. Hey, are you guys done arguing or what? Yes, sweetie, we're done. Your brother was just leaving. You know what? Yeah, I'll call you later, okay? Cha! Kyle Maxington cannot even begin to explain how disappointed he is in the both of you. That fan saw you two arguing and now thinks the whole skate team hates each other, bros. What were you thinking? Look, I I'm sorry, Kyle. I didn't mean to make such a bad impression. Cha? Well, you did, Jason. Look, it's all over the internet now, man. And Jason, I was about to offer you a spot in our team. But after that display... I'm considering kicking both of you out, bros. This is his fault. He started it. Well, it's obvious that you two don't know what it takes to be a bra. You just can't stand that I'm a better skater than you, Trevor. You idiot. You really think that? You want to bet? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you know, this might not be a bad thing for our sponsors, bros. Next week, it's a competition. Whoever wins gets the spot on the team, bros. <laughs> Sound good? I'm in. Prepare to lose. Guys, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you've been here for me. Yeah, of course we're here, dude. This is gonna be sick. I'm really excited that you both want to come to the competition tomorrow night. Yeah, of course I'm gonna be there. But, uh, I need to head back to my dad's. You know how it is. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for coming by, Carter. Of course. See you tomorrow, dude. It's gonna be sick. I know it. So you invite mom or what? Why would I do that? Because she's our mom? Duh. Yeah, but every time she's around, it just leads to another fight. I mean, you saw it at the hospital, man. I don't need that at the competition. Look, I know things have been tough. She's still our mom. I know she wants to make sure you're okay, even if it doesn't come out right. Look, it's just, it's complicated, okay? I know you mean the world to her, dude. 
You mean the world to me. Yeah, well, she's got a funny way of showing it. I know. Just think about it, okay? Yeah, I'll think about it. Well, look who's here. Hi, Mom. So, what brings you here, Jason? You're the last person I expected to pop by. Look, I just wanted to talk to you about the big skating competition tomorrow. I heard. Drew told me all about it last night. Well, I really would want you to be there, Mom. It would mean the world to me if you came by and supported me. What if you get hurt again? I can't bear the thought of losing you. You don't know that's gonna happen. You're just assuming the worst. How can I not? After your father? I can't handle losing more of my family, Jason. Look, you are the one losing me. It's hurting me, Mom. I... I don't want to lose you, but... I also don't want to stand in the way of, of your dreams. Look, just come by to the competition tomorrow, okay? It would mean a lot to me. Fine. I'll be there tomorrow. Thank you, Mom. Oh, yeah! The skaters are doing their little skating thing! Let's go! Yeah! I love it here! Okay, Jason. You've got this. And you're gonna win. Just do your best, honey. I'm here for you, no matter what. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. And tuck in your shirt, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The final competitor, Jason, is about to take off in three, two, one, go! Come on, you've got this. You've got this! Oh my gosh, look at him! That was impressive! And that was even more impressive! Ah! The judges have tallied the scores, and the winner is... Jason! Shaw, sure, dude! Congrats, bro! Welcome to the team! I'm so, so proud of you! Thanks, Mom. This means everything to me, and sharing it with my family makes it that much better. I can't take it anymore! I'm running away! My mom's too strict! Oh no! The alarm! Oh, she can't find me this time. I've gotta hide. Doug! Where are you, Doug? I love my mom, but she's too much. All I want to do is play football. She made me quit the team. Just because there wasn't enough homework? I don't even know what that means. I can't live like this. Oh, come on, you're almost there, Doug. Oh, I made it. Doug? Oh no! Is that you? Quick. Doug! Oh, that was close. Man, this sucks. I just want to be a normal kid. And hang out with my friends like everybody else. Hey, rich boy, give me all your money. What? No, I, I don't have anything. Don't hurt me. I said, hand it over. Look, this is this is all I have. This is really all you got? You're broke. Yeah. Give me your shoes. I want your shoes. No, get out of here. Think you can run away because you got shoes? Get back here. Oh, man. I think I lost him. Oh, man. Ow! What's the matter with you, huh? Oh, so sorry, officer. Hey, I know you. You're Doug. <laughs> Heard you ran away. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did. I, I can't handle my mom's strict rules anymore. I get it, kid, but that's no reason to run away. You're coming with me. Come on, dude. No, please. Sorry. Even I follow my mom's rules. Now I'm taking you back home. Doug, you were supposed to be in bed by 7 p.m., and here you are, running away like a little criminal. Uh, ma'am, if that'll be all, um, I'll be on my way. Next time you better catch him faster, Officer Jones, or I'll call your mother, and she will have a word with you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Mom, this is ridiculous. Who are you calling? Cell phones are banned after 5 p.m. Just calling my friend Jerry, Mom. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. What the heck? You just broke my phone. It took me forever to save up for that. Oh, well, too bad. This is my house, and you will follow my rules. Do you need a reminder? No, Mom, I don't. There's just too many rules. I need to be able to live my life. You'll live your life when you're a successful adult. Until then, you follow my rules. I'm miserable. Can't you understand that? I really don't care. Now, you have extra chores, and you'll be grounded for a month. A month? Mom, you were never like this before Brad died. Don't you dare speak of your brother like that. No. Oh, whatever, Mom. Now go to bed! Tomorrow morning, I'm taking you to school. Got it? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Mom, you really don't have to do this. This is embarrassing. Oh, yes, I do. It's the rules. I'm walking you inside. I don't want you to run away again. You seriously need to stop with these rules, Mom. And you need to stop breaking them. Now come on and pick up your feet. When you get home, you'll mow the lawn. Then no cell phone, no TV, just homework and dinner, and then straight to bed. There's a football game on tonight. It's huge. Please, I gotta watch it. Too bad. I have to go to work. Pay attention in class. I'll give you a pop quiz when you get home, too. 
man. I need to talk to Jerry. I hope he's not mad at me for bailing last night. Oh, doggy! Does your strict mom baby you too much? Shut up, Luke. I still love my mom, even though she's like that. We've just been through a lot, okay? Oh, well, well. You're gonna cry that your older brother's dead again? Everybody knows. Stop talking about my brother, Luke. Huh, too bad. Your older brother was way cooler than you anyway. It's enough, man. Huh, stop crying about it then, loser. Brother probably hated you just like I did. Shut up, Luke! Oh, my nose! Oh! Dog, my office now! Punching another student? You can't be getting into more trouble like this. Now I have to call your mother. Ugh. No, no, no. Please don't call my mom. I'm begging you. Too bad. I'm calling her. Now get out of my office. Oh, gosh, man. I'm going to be in so much trouble now. Hey, Doug. Dude, I was looking all over for you. Why'd you bail last night? We missed you at the skate park. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jerry. My mom caught me sneaking out. She smashed my phone. I couldn't get a hold of anybody. Man, I'm really sorry your mom's like that. But I get it. You know, she's been through a lot, dude. Yeah, I know. I I'm tired of this. It it it's, it's killing me. Yeah, but... Family's family. You gotta stick together, right? Yeah, I, I guess that's true, but it's just like I can't be my own person. And I don't understand why she has so many strict rules. Yeah, I don't know either. Your mom does seem extra strict than most parents. Yeah, but you know what? Enough is enough. I can't keep missing out on everything. I'll find a way for us to hang out tonight. I, I promise. You're in big trouble now, Doug. This can't keep happening. You need more discipline. Mom, you're not letting me be my own person. I need some freedom. It's good for you. Discipline and rules keep you safe. Really? Because it's destroying my social life, Mom. Today I was made fun of because of how strict you are. And not only that, I had to quit the one thing that I care about. Football. Well, what's done is done. Now you need to do homework for the next two hours. No, we need to talk about this. I need to be able to spend time with my friends. I'm losing them because of you. That's exactly how your brother died, Doug. Socializing. Being out with friends instead of being at home safe. It was a freak accident, Mom. He got hit by a car. It could have happened anywhere at any time. There's nothing you could have done. You understand that, right? No, not if he was at home following my rules. I could have protected him, but I couldn't. I can't let that happen to you, too. You can't keep me in a bubble, Mom. I've got to live my life. How am I supposed to grow up and become successful? This? is the end of the discussion, Doug. Now go outside, mow the lawn, then two hours of homework, and straight to bed. I can't believe you. Fine, whatever. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This lawnmower's terrible. Yo, hey, Jerry, what's up, man? Dude, we're all hanging out at the carnival. You've got to get here right now. Uh, I wish I could. I'm grounded again. You're always grounded, dude. You need to live a little. Come on. Yeah, I know. Don't remind me. But my mom bought me a new cell phone, and now I have to work that off, plus do all my regular chores. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of here. Dude, you have to. One of the scouts from your favorite football team is here. You might be able to talk to him and get recruited. Wait, are you serious? Like the college recruit? Yeah, I don't joke around about football, dude. You know what? This is too big of an opportunity. My mom already took playing away from me, but there's a chance that I could play after I graduate. You know what? I'm on my way. I I'm already outside. Maybe she won't notice I'm gone. I I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, man, let's go. Doug, where are you? You need to start doing your homework. Doug? Doug? Yo, dude, you made it. I really did it this time, Jerry. I ran away and my mom didn't catch me. Oh, but when she finds out, she's gonna lose it. Yeah, I know. I feel really bad, but I gotta experience my life, man. Plus, if this recruiter's here, this could change everything. Yeah, actually, he's right over there. And he's seen you play football. This might be the biggest chance of your life. Yeah, you're right, man. Here goes nothing. Uh, hey, sir. Uh, my name's Doug. Uh, I, I heard that you're a college recruit, and you might have seen me play football. Oh, yeah, I have. I spoke to your coach and wanted to invite you to play for our college team. But your coach mentioned your mom stopped allowing you to play football. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still really good. I, I haven't lost my skills, I promise. Well, I'm not sure, Doug. Well, what do you mean? Well, if you're not currently playing, I might not be able to offer you a scholarship or anything. I mean, how do I know that you're actually good? You can tell me that, but if I haven't seen you play recently, you might not be. So, what do I have to do? I just have to get back on the field? 
Well, that would definitely help. Look, I, I promise I can do that. If you could just give me a chance. Look, if you go out there and you play like you used to, you got a bright future ahead of you. At least a free ride to college. I mean, that would save you thousands of dollars. Consider it, and I'll keep my eyes out for you, all right? Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. All right, I'll be in touch with your coach. Wow, this is amazing. My phone. Great. My mom. Uh, I'll deal with this later. This could be it. The break I've been looking for, Jerry. I told you, man, this was so worth it. You're gonna basically go to college for free. I'm kind of jealous. If I could find a way back on this team, I could get into college, and then who knows, maybe even the pros. This could change the whole trajectory of my life. I mean, I've got no doubt you can do it. You've got the skill. I genuinely believe I can do it too. Just my mom's the only obstacle here. Yeah, so what are you gonna tell her? I'm not completely sure. I mean, she wants me to go to college, right? So maybe she could understand that this would get me in there and she might go easy on me. Maybe she would even encourage it. Doug, how dare you run away again? Mrs. Anderson, uh, look, just calm down. Doug's safe. He's, he's here with me. Shut up, Jerry. This is none of your business. Mom, I had to run away. There was an opportunity that was really big and, and I got to tell you about I it. I don't care, Doug. You're coming home now. Mom, this is absolutely ridiculous. You can't keep doing this to me. You are grounded, young man. That means you have to stay home. Don't you understand? This isn't normal. I want to be with my friends. I want to play football. Well, guess what? No more friends for you. Mom, you don't get it. I have a lot of chances for my future and you're ruining it. Don't be so dramatic. I'm not. The best school in the world wants to recruit me to play on their football team. But I can't go because you won't let me play now. All these rules are holding me back. You will Never play football. You won't leave this house until you go to college, and it will be a college with no football. Mom, what are you doing? You were never like this before. Why don't you just listen to me? I already lost one son. I, I won't lose another. Yeah, but you're losing our relationship. Don't you see that? The more you try to control everything, the worse you're making things. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Doug. Someday you'll thank me. No football, no stupid college. I will choose where you go. Got it? Yeah, whatever. I got it. Gosh, I can't take this anymore. I can't win with her. Uh, I can't blow this opportunity either. I'm gonna run away for good this time. I'm not giving up on my dreams. And she'll see. They'll all come true. Jerry, dude, are you home? I, I ran away. Jerry! Oh, it's you. Stop banging on my door, Doug. Oh, sorry. Is Jerry here? No, and even if he were, he couldn't hang out with you. Your mom came over and made a huge scene. Clearly, you're a bad influence on him. No, I'm not. It's all a misunderstanding. You just said you ran away from home. I don't want Jerry hanging out with anyone like that. Please, no. Can I just stay here for the night? I don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, right. No way. I'm calling your mom and the cops. Great. This is not good. Maybe I didn't think this one through. Maybe I can try calling Jerry later or something, but his mom seems really mad. Great. Oh, was that my mom's car? Jeez, I gotta get out of here. Oh, man, I know I shouldn't have broken in here, but I got nowhere else to go. I'll just try to spend the night here, and then maybe I can talk to the coach in the morning about joining the team again. Everything's gonna be fine. I've got this all figured out. Hey, what do you think you're doing in here? Uh, I, I just needed a place to stay for tonight. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, either go home or I'm taking you to jail. Please, sir, just just let me stay. I, I'm homeless right now. I got nowhere to go. Oh, a homeless guy broke into the school? Yeah, uh, that's it. You're going to jail right now. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll go. I, I didn't mean to. I, I, we're fine. Oh, man, I can't believe that it's come down to this. I guess I'm gonna have to stay here for the night. This is really tough, but I, I think it'll be worth it. It has to be. I, I know it will be. Yo, Jerry, what's up, man? Dude, where have you been? Your mom came over my house last night and flipped out on my entire family. Oh, dude, I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I don't know if your mom told you, but I came by too, and then she flipped out on me. It was a whole thing. Yeah, she did. And dude, your mom made my dad cry. I've never seen him cry in my life. My gosh, man. I, I know she can be really mean. I know it was wrong to run away, but what am I supposed to do? She's put me in such a bad position. I don't want to give up my future because my mom's being strict. I just need 
to show my mom that I can live my life on my own, you know? That my decisions are gonna be good for me. Yeah, well, you made your decision and now you've gotta live with it. And hopefully, Coach will let you back on the team, but man, you created such a mess. I know, but I was the best player and I worked really hard. I'm sure he'll let me back. I, I just have to convince him. Well, you better hope your mom doesn't find out, cause then you have no chance at all. She's already on a warpath. I'm gonna try to do my best. I, I have to. Uh, hey, coach. Look, Doc, I heard you want back on the team. Yeah, coach, I, I do. Uh, I'm really sorry for everything that happened, especially with my mom. You know that I never wanted to quit. I know, I know, but, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, Doug. Come on, coach. You know I'm the best player you've got. Of course you are. Last time, your mom screamed at me for an hour straight. She was, uh, let's just say, scary. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. She does that sometimes, but she just has her rules and she wants everyone to follow them. Look, dog, dog, I'm willing to let you back on the team. You got great potential. That's awesome, coach. I promise I won't let you down. But I got one condition. Yeah, sure. Anything. Whatever you need. Your mom needs to come here and tell me it's okay. Directly. In person. And she's got to apologize to me for yelling at me. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I can do that. It's not a problem, is it, Doug? Yeah, no, no, no problem at all, Coach. I I'll take care of it. Good, good, because I need you back on this team. We're epically failing. Okay, practice tomorrow. See you then. Oh, gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do now. How the heck am I going to get her to agree to this? This is going to be impossible. Oh, great, it's her again. She won't stop calling me. <sighs> uh, all right, I'm going to answer. Hello? I'm sorry, Mom. I'll find a way to make this right somehow. And sleeping outside is definitely not great. This place is kind of sketchy. I really do miss home. Hey, kid! Give me all your money now! No, I don't have any money, I swear. Then give me that phone! Come on, man. You've got to leave me alone. This phone's all I have. No! You've got to pay if you're going to stay here. Now hand over the phone! Oh, no, I don't want to give you my phone. I said give me the phone! Fine. Here, you crazy person. Just take it. Now get out of here! Go home before things get worse for you. I'll even steal your shoes. Jerry! Jerry! Dude, quiet down. My parents are sleeping. What's your problem? I think I messed up, man. I want to go home, but I'm scared. Couldn't you have just called me and talked to me about this? No, someone stole my phone. It's been a long night. Jeez, man, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do, dude. I really want to play football, but I miss my mom. I feel so bad. I know I hurt her, and she's already hurting with Brad being gone, and... What do you think I should do? Well, if you go home, you're never going to be able to play football again, right? You'll probably never be able to leave the house. Yeah, I know. But coach won't let me play without her permission. He wants to speak to her face to face. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, man. Maybe you should just do the right thing and go home. Yeah, you're right. I'm scared. She's going to be really mad, but I think it's time. Yeah, and it's time for me to go to bed. Dude, get out of here before my parents see you. All right, later, man. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. No! No, my house! Come on, guys. We gotta put this fire out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Where do you think you're going, huh? Uh, this is my house. My, my mom. Is she in there? Is she okay? We haven't found anybody yet. This house isn't safe. It's gonna come down. Oh, no. I can't believe this. You, you've gotta find her. Don't tell me how to do my job. Just calm down, kid. It's far too dangerous. Yeah, no kidding. Whatever. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'll find my mom. Hey, hey, stop. Get back here. Mom, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm home. Mom. <laughs> mom. <coughs> mom, are you there? <coughs> mom. <coughs> oh, man. Ooh. Good. He's still alive, guys. He's okay. How you doing, kid? Uh, yeah, I think I'm all right. Where's my mom? Did you guys save her? How could you let him get hurt? You are the worst firefighters ever. I'm sorry, ma'am. He ran in before we could stop him. You should be sorry. Mom, mom, you're safe. Yeah, I am. What do you care anyway? I love you, Mom. I came back to say that I'm sorry. You're sorry? I was worried sick, Doug. At least you weren't home when the fire started. They said it would have been an easy fire to put out if I was home. But I was out looking for you. Our home is gone. Are you happy now? No, Mom. I'm not happy. All I wanted was to keep you safe. And this? This is the things I get? You never listen to me. You know, I lost my brother too, but I'm still here. I'm alive and I need to live my life. Don't you get that? Sure. Looks like you're living life the way you want to now. Mom, please just talk to me. Oh, man, 
And with everything that happened last night, my mom not talking to me, I need this. I have to convince the coach to let me play. <sighs> All right, here goes nothing. Coach, look, my mom doesn't care. Just let me play football, all right? Oh, no, no way. I ain't getting yelled at by your mom again. Look, I don't want to get yelled at either, but I think it'll be okay. Well, uh, I mean, we really do need you out there. Eugene's trying to play quarterback and the kid sucks. Uh, you sure she's going to be okay with it? Yeah, totally. She's been less strict lately, and it's my problem, not yours. All right, fine, fine. But if she comes down here and gets mad and yells at me and makes me cry again, you're off the team. I'm not dealing with her wrath again, understand? I won't let you down, coach. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you. You're saving my neck, Doug. All right, good. We're playing this weekend. You better be ready. Here we are at the big game, folks. It's me, your favorite announcer, Chet Flenderson. Doug is back, and he's looking better than ever. Look at him go. This is exactly my chance. I'm going to show them what I'm made of. All right, here we go. Set. Hut. Hike. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, man, that is not the way we were hoping that would go. Doug is down. I hope he's okay. That looked brutal. Anyway, we'll come back from commercial and see if Doug can pull himself together. My goodness. Well, Doug, you busted your ankle, and it looks like you got a little bit of a concussion here. So how long until I can play again? Well, not for a few weeks, but fortunately it's not severe, so you should make a quick recovery. Douglas Anderson! Uh, oh, boy. This doesn't seem good. I'll give you two some space. I can't believe you played football after I explicitly told you not to. It's my passion, Mom. It's my dream. Well, it's a stupid dream. It's unsafe, and look at you now. It's not stupid, and I'll be fine. You're right. You will be. You will not go outside at all anymore. Just stay inside where it is safe and read books. This is why I ran away. I have opportunity, Mom. You need to let me take it. Well, looks like you won't be running for a while. You're coming back home now. What home, Mom? Didn't ours burn down? I got a new home. You're welcome to come back, heal yourself, and then no more of this. Playing football. Quiet and get your rest. Ah, oh, this is so boring. I can't believe I'm stuck at home. I haven't done anything in like a week. Doug, hey! Whoa, hey man, I'm glad to see you. Doug, I saw your game. Heck of a performance. You know, until you got hurt. Look, I'd love to talk to you and your mom about recruiting you to our college football team. You've really got talent, kid. You could really make it all the way to the pros. This is amazing, just from one game? That's all I needed to see. It's not your fault that you got hit. Injuries happen all the time, but I know you're gonna make a full recovery. Who the heck are you? Doug is resting, you know. Uh, ma'am, I'm the recruiter from Roblox College, and uh, your son has incredible talent. We're offering him a professional career and free tuition for his education. I'm telling you, it's almost a guarantee that he goes pro. No, there's no way Doug is playing that stupid game. He is going to be disciplined and take a safe job at a desk. Mom, you can't make this decision for me. I'm basically an adult now, Mom. My 18th birthday is coming up. No, you're not, and you. You're still here? Get off my property! Okay, fine. Not how I thought this was gonna go. You know, Doug, maybe we can talk some other time. Mom, I can't believe you did this to me. It's for your own good, Doug. I need some fresh air. You've got 10 minutes, and then it's time to start homework. Man, it's such a bummer your mom didn't let you back on the team. We could have won the championship with you, man. Yeah, I know. I'm really upset about it, too. But I made a decision. I'm gonna sign with the college team. Really? That's awesome. But what about your mom? Well, we just graduated high school. Today's my 18th birthday. She can't control everything I do anymore. It's up to me to follow my dream. Yeah, but knowing her, <laughs> I think she's gonna try and find a way to stop you. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna tell her tonight, and I just hope that she supports my decision. Oh, speaking of the devil, I need to go, Jerry. Well, we'll chat later, all right, man? Yeah, happy birthday, and good luck, dude. Thanks. And nothing with carbs. Mom, I'm an adult. I can order my own food. I hope this waiter hurries up. After your birthday dinner, you still have chores waiting at home. Mom, can we just relax? Let's have a good time tonight. <sighs> Fine. There's something I need to tell you. You're probably not going to be happy, but I decided to take the recruiter up on his offer. I'm going to play college football. Absolutely not. Mom, I don't get it. Why can't you see that this is my dream and I'm good at it? And it's going to make me go to college for free. I said no, your birthday is over. It's time to go home. You've got to understand something. I'm growing up. 
I have my own life to live, and I can make my own decisions for myself. I'm making the decision here. Look, Mom, I don't want to keep arguing, but you can't control me anymore, and you need to realize that. I know that you put these rules in place because you're afraid that something's going to happen to me, but I'm going to be okay, Mom. I promise. Hey, Jerry, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You were awesome out there. Thanks. It just felt so good to be out there playing. Uh, hey, did you see if my mom came? I sent her tickets to the game. Yeah, about that. I gave the tickets to her like you asked. Oh, cool. Was she happy? Uh, no, definitely not. She tore them up and burned them right in front of me. And then she called me a loser for supporting your dangerous career. Oh, well, that's definitely not what I was expecting. I mean, you're doing so good, though. Maybe when she sees how successful you're becoming, she'll change her mind. I hope so, Jerry. I really miss her, man. She's still my mom at the end of the day, and she's all I got. And you, obviously, man. Thanks for always being here for me. It, it means a lot. Always, dude. I'm always here for you. You know, you really stepped up in this last game. The team looks up to you. You're a true leader out there. Oh, thanks, coach. It means a lot. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. It's not just us that have noticed. There's been quite a few calls from pro teams. They really want to secure a spot for you before you even graduate. Whoa, seriously? That's absolutely amazing. You've got a bright future ahead of you, Doug. I'd advise you, though, finish your college degree, of course. But if you continue to play the way that you're playing now, you're going to be set for life. You could take care of everyone in your entire family. That's exactly what I wanted, Coach. Your mother must be so proud. Uh, yeah, I wish. Um, Coach, actually, I know this is bad timing. Would it be possible for me to miss practice tomorrow? It's something really important that I need to do. Normally, I'd say no, but with the streak you've been having, I'll give you this one day. Thanks, Coach. I, I promise it's really important. Hey, Brad. Happy birthday, man. I, uh, I really wish that you were here. Things just haven't been the same since you left. Mom's changed. Really sad, man. She just doesn't live her life anymore. She's just trying to control everything with rules and she's mean to people. And it's just not how mom used to be. Remember, she used to be fun. She used to take us places. Now it's just she can't enjoy anything, man. And I get it. It's hard without you. And I wish she knew how well I was doing. And there's a chance that I could make enough money to support all of us. She just pushes me away, man. I just feel so alone. Everything's moving so fast and there's no one by my side. There's no one to guide me or share my joys and fears with. You always knew what to do, man. I miss you so much. Happy birthday. I love you, man. Doug, Doug, I'm Dylan Smith, agent with the Roblox Pro Team. Oh, hey, how's it going? What can I do for you? Well, we've been watching you closely and we think you've got what it takes to play in the pros, the big leagues. Wow, seriously? That's awesome. And we don't want you to just play some lame background position. No, we want you front and center, quarterback. You're going to be the star. In fact, we're thinking of starting you off with a $10 million contract. $10 million? I didn't stutter. $10 million. But you have to leave school, like today, and then you play full time. Look, that, that's a lot to take in. I'm not sure. I got to think about it. What do you have to think about, Doug? It's a lot of money. It's $10 million. Look, I'll give you a little time, okay? Call me when you make up your mind. Oh, man, this is a huge opportunity. I wish I could just talk to my mom about this. Maybe I'll try. Come on, Mom. Answer the phone. Mom. Doug, Chet Flenderson here, news legend of Action 5 News. What an incredible performance. You turned a team that hasn't won in a decade into champions. How does it feel to be the champion and also to be interviewed by me? It feels amazing, Chet. I really can't describe it. I've always dreamed of this moment. And how are you going to celebrate this incredible victory? I don't know, probably just a quiet night at home. Watch some TV, just, just take it all in. Humble, I love it. I bet your family is bursting with pride right now. I bet you they can't wait to get on the phone and call you. I wish. I really miss my mom, actually. She's out there watching. I love you, Mom. I told you I would do it, and I hope that you're proud. Wow, that's really touching, Doug. Uh, also, kind of sad. Way to bring down the mood. Sorry, Chet. I don't mean to be rude, but I gotta take this. Okay, apparently he's too cool to even be on TV. Mom, are you okay? I'm fine now, sweetie. What happened? I tried to come to your game, but I I got into a car accident on the way. Mom, you, you were right. I'm so sorry. I should have just listened to you. No, 
Doug, I was wrong. I let my grief over your brother overshadow how proud I am of you. Look at you. You're living your dream. I should be supporting you and not holding you back. I'm so proud of you, son. Always remember that. Thanks, Mom. I, I love you. You're ridiculous, Tom! You're a monster! I can't believe what you've done! I hate you! We packed up some of your things, now get lost! Dad, please do not kick me out! I would never steal Mom's necklace or your money! I've had enough of your lies! Yeah, get lost, Tom, before you hurt us anymore! Devin, please, you know I didn't do this! You're my older brother! D talk to Dad! Make him reconsider! What's done is done, and don't call me your brother anymore! A hundred thousand dollars was taken out of my dad's safe, and my mother my mother's diamond necklace is now gone too. Somebody stole it, but my dad and brother think it was me. Tate, are you kidding? It would never be you. You were like the closest to your mom. Yeah, I, I know. My mom was my most favorite person in the world. We were so close and we were so alike. And but after my mom got into her accident and didn't make it, my dad and brother, they just seemed to turn on me. They hate me so much. And now they kicked me out and I've got nowhere to go. All right, dude, just calm down, Tom. Come inside, all right? You can stay with me for now until we figure all this mess out. Oh, thanks, James. You're my best friend. Yeah, yeah, you just got here. Why? Uh-huh, okay, don't worry. I'll handle this. Yeah, do you know who that was I was talking to right there, boys? No, nah, who was it, Dad? It was your father, Tom. He told me everything. Look, it's all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, there's no misunderstanding going on here. You're a criminal, you know that? Stealing other people's belongings. Hey, Dad, you got it all mixed up, all right? Tom didn't do anything wrong. Listen, I was about to ask if he could stay here. Uh, absolutely not. I'm not getting any of my items stolen. What are you going to go steal next? My vintage wallet? You are not welcome anywhere near here. Mom, I wish you were here with me. You always helped guide me, gave me the best advice. I wonder what you'd tell me right now. Probably to forgive Dad and Devin. But how can I when they hate me so much? <sighs> I've got nowhere else to go, so I might as well stay here with you, Mom. Tom! Oh, I'm so happy I found you. James, what are you doing here? Me and my dad got in a fight, all right? His opinion of you doesn't matter to me, and he's acting cruel. I'm not just about to abandon my best friend when you need me the most. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. I'm thankful I've got you, at least. For a while there... I was starting to feel like I had no one. Well, come on, dude. Let's get out of this, all right? We got to find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, well, I don't have a whole lot of money. I was just going to sleep here. Oh, no, no. You're crazy. I'm not going to let you sleep here. Listen, I may have grabbed the keys to my family's cabin in the woods, okay? We could stay there for the meantime. I just can't believe it. $100,000. My whole savings gone. Yeah, well, we gave Tom exactly what he deserved. He's so selfish for stealing all that money and just lying to our faces about it. How can your own family member do that? I don't know. It's beyond surprising to me. I just can't believe his behavior lately. What has gotten into your little brother? I don't know, but it's like he's a whole different person now. Seems like ever since we lost your mom, Tom's been acting out. You know, this is all my fault. Dad, what are you talking about? It's not your fault at all. This is all Tom, no one else. And don't ever think that. Maybe if I had just been a better father, I've been around more or something, I, I, I don't know. I can't help but think this is my fault. Dad, don't worry, okay? Tom was holding us back anyway. Everything's gonna be fine, and we're gonna be great without him. We're not gonna be great, Devin. This was my entire savings gone. Without this, I don't think we can keep the house. We could be homeless. Wait, what? What do you mean homeless? I had no idea about any of that. Well, don't worry. It's my job to take care of this. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out somehow. I'll get the money back. Maybe pick up extra shifts at work. I don't know. Don't worry. Well, I'm going to help too, Dad. You don't know what I'm capable of. I'm smarter than I look. Thanks, Devin. Thankful I at least have one son that has his head on straight. Yo, yeah, dude, how'd you sleep? Not good. I just kept thinking about my dad and... Devin and what happened, you know? What I could have said different. Maybe I could have changed their minds or, or something. Dude, there was nothing that you could have done. Their minds were already made before they even confronted you. I just wish I knew what happened to my mom's necklace. There's obviously no way I would have taken it. Yeah, it's not like it didn't grow legs and just walk away. Someone had to have taken it. And if not you, then who? But then my dad's whole savings was missing too. There's something more to this. My dad could be in serious trouble. Well, Tom, if you really need it, I can loan you some money, all right? I have a lot of extra. No. Absolutely not. I'm gonna get that money back one way or another, either for working for it or I'm gonna find it. And I'm gonna give it back to my dad. Wait, seriously? Even after everything they've done? They literally kicked you out of your own family. For now, but they're still my family and I would never turn my back on them, even if they hate me. Well, you're a better person than me, that's for sure. Thanks for helping me out with all of this and giving me a place to stay, but I need to get to work. Last thing I need is to lose my job too. 
Hey, boss. Well, then is it my good-for-nothing employee? Late. Yet again. I'm really sorry. You are by far my worst employee that I've ever had in my existence as a manager. Look, I can explain, all right? I got kicked out of my house and just shut up, okay? I don't care about your sob story. Go stock the shelves, which is what I pay you to do. I'm on it. That man is so miserable. He doesn't care about anyone else but himself. I gotta stock these shelves yet again. Ugh, thought I was at a grocery store, not a dump. Look, Devin, can you and I just talk, please? All this is just tearing me apart. I'm not gonna talk to you. Not now, not ever. From what I see, all you are now is just a stranger to me. But we're brothers. No, we're not brothers anymore. And I don't even care about you. So just zip it, okay? What is going on over here? Tom, are you disturbing our customers? Yeah, I have a problem. You just let this guy work at your store. You know he's a criminal, right? What? He's a criminal? Tom, explain yourself. No, I'm not a criminal. This is my brother. He's blaming me for something that I didn't do. Yeah, well, his own family's about to be on the streets now for the money that he stole. Oh, wow. You're even worse than I expected, Tom. Yeah, and we already made our minds at home. Once I talk to my dad again, I'm pretty sure we're going to disown him. You should do the same as an employee. I am so sick of people thinking that I'm something I'm not. I'm not a criminal, James. Child, dude, I know. But we have to prove that to the other people in your life. Trust me, I'm going to prove my innocence one way or another. My dad is going to leave for work, and I'm going to go inside the house. I'm going to find some clues or, or something. Yeah, good idea, man. I'll be the lookout. Look, there he goes now. Yeah, gotta work overtime so I can pay the mortgage. Otherwise, they're taking the house. All right, he's gone. I'll be right back. Oh, there's gotta be something somewhere. No, 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 there's nothing. Oh, I've gotta find something. Maybe there's... I've gotta find something. All right, I can't believe I forgot my laptop. What? Tom, what are you doing here? I told you to get out. Dad, I, I, I was just, um... You were just what, breaking into our house? Wow, really are a criminal now, aren't you, Tom? No, Dad, I'm not a criminal. And why won't you just listen to me? No, because I don't listen to lies. I want you out of this house. I am so hurt by you, I, I can't even look at you. Dad, you're the one that's hurting me too. You are my son and I love you, but the way you're acting is hurting me more than anything. I'm gonna call the police. What? Dad, you can't call the police. Oh yes, I can. Someone breaks into my house, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Now you better go or else the cops are being called. James, I thought you said you were gonna be my lookout. Dude, I, I was, but then I saw your dad booking towards the door. What am I supposed to do, just trip him? I heard you guys yelling though, is everything okay? No, honestly, I think my dad probably hates me even more now. Well, don't worry, all right? Because when he finds out the truth, I'm sure everything's gonna go back to normal. Hey, Tom, 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 get over here. Ugh, great. Hey, old man Jones. Look, I've got a lot going on right now. I can't, like, rake your yard or take out your trash anymore. All right, well, zip it, youngins. I had something very important to tell you, okay? Now, listen here. You just got kicked out of your house for being a thief, didn't you? Ah, uh, you heard it, too. Great. Look, I'm not a criminal, all right? Yeah, I know that, and I have the proof. You, you what? Yeah, I may have got new security cameras installed the other week, and uh, I saw something that you might want to see. Come on inside. James, this might be it. Now, look at here. Now, if you look closely, I can definitely tell that there's someone else in that house that is not you. And look at that. They're leaving right now. Tom, this is exactly what you need. Yeah, clearly that is not me. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to show this to my dad. And then maybe now he'll finally understand. All right. Come on. Where is he? He should be here by now. Yay, what's up, dude? Here you go. Here's the money for selling the necklace. Perfect. This is everything I needed, and no one suspected a thing, by the way, in my entire family. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty impressed. Honestly, though, you're a little cold-blooded, man. Framing your own little brother for stealing your mom's necklace? Yeah, tell me something I care about, okay? Tom deserved everything that he got, and I'm excited to never see his face again. Why do you hate him so much, man? You have no idea what it's like to always feel like a failure. My dumb little brother always got the attention, the glory. He got everything he ever wanted. Meanwhile, I was just in his shadow, watching from a distance. Whoa, okay. 
Sorry I asked. Now I'll finally have the relationship with my dad that I've always wanted. I'm gonna be a hero to him. He'll be so proud of me, and that's exactly what I want. Yeah, well, dude, whatever happens, just don't tell them I helped you, okay? This was all your idea, not mine. Dude, don't worry, okay? Everyone thinks it's Tom, not you. And I'm gonna keep it that way. All right, I think dad's home. Why do I feel so nervous? Whatever, just shake it off, Tom. It's just dad. Hello? I, ugh. What do you want, Tom? I don't want to see you. Look, I know, okay, but there's something really important I need to tell you, Dad. All right, what is it? Well, I've got to show you. Can I borrow your laptop? What? My laptop? Yeah, just real quick. Look at this. See, Dad? This is the footage from Old Man Jones' security cameras. In the house, there's somebody there, and that's not me. Well, well, clearly not you, but who is that? Dad, Dad, look. I got all the money just like you needed, and now we can get the house. We're sick. Wait, what is he doing here? That can wait. What about the money? What is this? Look, I, I worked so hard day and night just to fix up Tom's mess up. I did it, Dad. This actually could save us. But Dad, that man in the security footage looks photoshopped and edited to me. Are you really trying to lie to us again? Wait, you can do that stuff? Yeah, Dad, anyone can. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Tom did with the help of his friend James. It's so sad and pathetic that you're trying to gain our love back. I can't believe you would lie so much, Tom, and to go this far to fake security security footage just to cover your own bad deeds. Dad, I would never do that. What do you think your mother would say? What did you just say? You heard me. Your mother is probably looking down on you being so disappointed. Are you kidding me? Mom would be disappointed in the two of you and the way you're treating me right now. He is impossible. I'm putting the money in the safe. That way he doesn't steal it again. Uh, now that that's over, <laughs> so much for Tom's evidence. Ugh, why are they acting like this? Why did dad even say that? Oh, it makes me so mad. You know what, Tom? You should just give up. Just leave and never come back, okay? Dad's never gonna forgive you for this. I know he will once I prove my innocence. Once I show you two that I didn't do it. Yeah, well, the only evidence you have right here is now gone. Why would you do that? You better stop digging your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Because you're gonna regret it. Really? Devin, is that a threat? Do you know something? Are you hiding something from me? No. No, why would I hide something from you? That's what you do to everyone else, you thief. Now back off. Don't call me a thief. I can call you whatever I want. Ah! <laughs> Yo, dude, what are we doing here? Are we gonna get caught? Isn't your brother coming back? No, no, don't even worry about it, okay? Called the ambulance and my brother's in the hospital right now. He's not gonna be here for a long time, okay? Well, he's in the hospital? Why? Things happen, okay? Now just shut up. Start looking for anything valuable. We need to find anything that we can. All right, I'm on it. Uh, look at that. What did you find? Look at this. It's like some kind of old watch. Probably super expensive. Perfect. That should be good. Here. Take this. I want this entire place to be teared up, okay? Destroy it if you have to. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, time for me to make this even worse. Oh my gosh, James, I have something to tell you. You're not gonna like the sound of it. Oh, oh, where, where am I? You're in the hospital, Tom. Dad? What were you thinking? Running into the street like a maniac? I didn't run into the street. Devin pushed me in. Oh, great. Blaming your brother for this? You're a real piece of work, Tom. Your brother's the one that called the ambulance. Dad, stop blaming me for this. I didn't... Ow! Oh, uh, I didn't do this on purpose. You need to stop blaming everyone else for your mistakes and your bad choices. I raised you better than that. Oh, good. I'm happy to see that you're awake, Tom. Uh, thanks, doctor. Is he gonna be okay, doc? Or is he gonna go home or what? Yeah, yeah, he should be fine. You should be able to take him back to you guys' house. Oh, he's not coming home with me. All right, I don't really care about the personal info. Look, I just need to ask for the payment, all right? Are you paying for it or what? How much is the bill? Um, well, before I thought it was one strain ankle, so it's, uh, 60000 but that ended up coming to $80,000 just for the additional fees. $80,000? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not paying his bills. He can figure it out on his own. D Dad, why don't you pay for it with the money you stole? You took $100,000 from my safe. Oh, this is some family drama right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a thief and a liar. You're on your own now. Dad, Dad, no! All right, listen, man, are you gonna pay the bill or what? Well, I definitely don't have that much money. Is there any way I can, like, pay in 
small amounts or, or something. Ah! Now you're lying to me too, huh? Get out of my hospital! Break a leg! Oops, you already did! James, you won't believe what happened. Wait, are you okay? You look upset. Tja, why don't you just come inside, Tom? See it for yourself. What on earth happened here? Oh, wow. You've really improved your acting skills since school. I let you stay here, you know. And this is how you treat my personal stuff? How dare you? What? No, no, James, I didn't do this. I, I was in the hospital. Tja, a likely story. Just another lie. I talked to your brother, and it's exactly what he said you'd say. You're nothing but a liar. I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. I'm your best friend, James. Then just give it back, all right? Give me my grandfather's watch back. What? Grandfather's watch? Tja, that was the most personal thing to me, all right? He gave that to me himself before he passed. So I need it back. I didn't take your grandfather's watch. I don't have it. Tja, you don't have it anymore because you probably sold it just like you did with your mom's necklace. I'm starting to see the real enemy here, Tom. I can't believe you manipulated me for as long as you did. All right, you know what, James? Enough is enough, okay? I would never manipulate you. You need to cut this out. You know me. I would never do something like this. I'm honest. We are best friends. Yeah, well, just like your family, I'm kicking you out of my life, too. I don't want to be friends with anyone anymore, especially a criminal. Well, I really am alone now. I've lost everything. My family, my friends. Now I just have to live on the streets. Oh, this is so stupid. What am I going to do now? Hey, 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 watch it, all right? This is my dumpster we're talking about. Back off. Oh, well, I didn't even know you were in there. I, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, what's up, kid? I can tell something's wrong. I mean, no one just punches a dumpster for no reason. Is your hand okay? Uh, it's a little hurt, but it'll be okay. I'm just going through a lot, you know? I'm homeless now, and my family and my friends turn their backs on me. I'm just frustrated. Wow. Yeah. Tell me about it. I, uh, I totally get it, and, and I relate, all right? I mean, I've been on the streets for a couple of years now, and, you know, it doesn't get any easier. Oh, great. Looks like my future is going to be pretty much the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. That's not the attitude that you need to have. Listen, you can't give up, kid. And if anything, I can help you out, all right? Definitely don't deserve to go through this on your own. Oh, thanks. I really could use some help about now. All right, uh, just, just follow me, okay? And keep up. No, no, it's not much. It's not the best, but, um, this is home. Well, it'll be some kind of roof over my head. It's better than sleeping on a bench or in a dumpster. Hey, hey, hey. Don't knock a dumpster until you try it, all right? You can crash it as long as you want, all right, now. Are you hungry? Starving, but... That's yours. I, I can't take it. No, all right. Listen, we're all in this together, all right? We're not going to get through this if we're selfish. And I'm not just going to let you suffer. I don't have much, but hey, it's the least that I can do. Oh, thank you so much. Why are you being so nice to me, though? I don't even know you. Because after years and years going through this and everything that I've lost, I've come to realize doing the right thing is the most important thing in this world. Hey, Dad, I know you've been really busy lately, but it's the weekend. You want to go to the movies or something? We could do something fun. I don't really have time for that right now, Devin. What? What do you mean? But I'm um, your son. We're supposed to be a family. Yeah, of course we're still family, Devin. I just don't have the time or the energy to do anything, you know? I'm worried about your brother. What? Why are you still worried about him after everything that he's done to us? Just forget about him. Maybe you'll understand when you have kids of your own, but you can't forget about them, okay? It's your job to protect them, and, and I think I'm failing. Look at where all that protecting got you, Dad. Your son is selfish and he betrayed both of us. And it was me who got us out of the mud, remember? Look at how you're treating me compared to him right now. Devin, need to stop thinking about you, okay? Yes, I know you helped us out and you did a great job and I'm forever grateful for that. But I've been doing a lot of thinking. What if your brother is right? Maybe your mother would be upset the way we kicked him out. You seriously just said that? You seriously think that he's right? You gotta be kidding me. Well, I was thinking about that security footage that definitely wasn't him, so it had to be someone else. Yeah, he has, he has connections everywhere, Dad. I mean, it, it's Tom. You know how many friends he has? Just forget about him. You have me. You know what, Devin? I'm kind of disappointed in you. You don't seem to care about your little brother at all. I raised you better than that. I'm going to go call the police. Maybe they can help us figure all this out. Dad, wait. No. Dad just lit. Oh, my gosh. Even after everything I've done, Dad still cares about Tom more than me. Ugh. I'm so sick and tired of him. I'm gonna get rid of him for good this time. All right, well, at least I still have this job. I could get my mind off of things for a little bit and make some money. I could definitely use it. Maybe I'll rent an apartment or something. Tom, get over here right now! Ah, <sighs> here we go. 
Tom, we gotta have a conversation. Oh, oh man, you smell like trash. What is wrong with you? Look, uh, I'm going through some stuff right now, okay? And I don't have anywhere to stay. Ah, uh, whatever. Look, I don't really care. This store was robbed last night. What? It was robbed? $10,000 is missing from my office. Uh, who, who was it? It was you. Are you kidding? It definitely wasn't me. Then what is this? Read it. It looks like a note. You left a note on my desk. Read it out loud. This job sucks. I hate it here. This is what you deserve? Signed, Tom? I did not write this. Huh, you think of me as some kind of joke, huh? Don't you? No, no, sir, I don't. I am outraged. I already called the police on you, and you're fired. What? No, please, sir. This was not me. You're the only one with keys to this place. And you came in late at night, stole that money, and left that insulting note for me to see in the morning. You know how much I hate the morning! Sir, I didn't come to the store last night. I I was busy sleeping in a homeless camp. Ah, right, well, go back to it. Get out of here now! <laughs> Perfect. So once again, someone stole money and blamed me for it. Now I don't have a job, and I've got no way of making money. Well, I'm sorry. It's, it seems like bad luck is just following you around, huh? Yeah, seems like it, and it won't go away. When is my bad luck going to be over? Uh, listen, I may have another way we can make money. All right, just uh, follow me. The junkyard? What are we doing here? Hey, this is how I make my living, all right? Sometimes I can find trash that people just, you know, leave behind and fix it up and sell it to a nearby pawn shop. Wow. You know, I'm actually kind of impressed. It's a really creative way to make money. And you and you can fix stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn it after a while when you got nothing, all right? Just uh, look around. Maybe we can find something valuable. Yeah, I'll go digging. I can see there's nothing really here. Wait, this TV. Looks like I can fix this. Yeah, yeah, this might actually work. You know, this TV's actually looking pretty good. Um, I'll take it off your hands. Well, really? Uh, how much am I going to get for it? Yeah, yeah, here's 40 bucks, all right? 40 bucks? Hey, hey, even if it seems hopeless, there's a way that we could turn it around, okay? Don't worry. Just take it. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right. I'll take it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Come back anytime for more items. Yeah, looks like you've got a lot of stuff here. And wait a second. Oh, my God. What? What? Is there a rat? I swear we're clean here. No, that's my mom's necklace. Where did you get that? Um, I don't know. I have a friend that comes in sometimes and he gives you some high ticket items. You know, it's like a once every other week or so. Look, sir, that is my mom's necklace and, and I lost her a couple years ago. Someone stole it from my house and blamed me for it. Is there any way I could get that back? It's... That's all I have left of her. 50k. What? You heard me? I offered you 50k. If you don't have it, then leave, all right? Simple as that. Please, sir, have a heart. That's my mom's necklace and it was stolen. Oh, the old mom necklace was stolen, Trick. You'd be surprised how much I've heard that. I don't believe a word you say. What if I can prove it? What if I can prove that that necklace was stolen? I'll tell you what, kid. If you can give me evidence and proof, then I have a heart after all. I'll give it back. Perfect then I think it's time I meet your friend. All right, he said this guy would be showing up any minute now. Oh, there he is. It's the same guy from the security footage. I knew it. Yo, so here you go. It's an old watch, probably super expensive. Hey, where'd you get the watch, huh? Oh, uh, wh what's it to you, huh? I need to know. That looks a whole lot like my friend's watch. And also, where did you get the necklace, huh? That diamond necklace right there. I, uh... Uh, I gotta go. You're not going anywhere. Whoa, whoa, guys. All right, let's calm down a little bit. I'll call the police if I have to. No, 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 no. You don't have to call the police, okay? Come on, Jimmy. Come on, we're friends, aren't we? My name's not even Jimmy. Be honest with me right now. Are these items stolen? Uh, what's your definition of stolen? All right, that's it. I know they are. I'm calling the police. I can't be selling stolen items in my honest good pawn shop, all right? Look, I, look, I, I, I can explain, all right? None of this was uh, my idea. I'm just the middleman. Really? Then who is it? Who's behind this? Who's your boss? Uh, eh. It's your brother. What? It's Devin. He's behind everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an outrage. I'm so disappointed in you. And I'm never going to work with you again. You're dead to me, Tristan. Now hand over the watch. All right. Fine. Here. And here you go, Tom. Take the necklace and the watch. I hope this is going to make things right for you. Man, I hope he answers.
What do you want? I have something for you. I don't want anything from you, all right? You hear me? Just leave. I think you'll want this back. Wait, my grandfather's watch? So you did take it, didn't you? No, I didn't. My brother stole it. What? Your brother? Why would he do that? I'm not quite sure just yet, but this belongs to you. I know he's behind a lot of the other things that's been happening to me too. And he was the one that stole my mom's necklace. I'm sorry, Tom. It's my fault that I didn't mean to accuse you. I was just mad. Please, you don't need to apologize. I understand. So what are you going to do now? I mean, your brother probably has more things planned up his sleeve. I'm not quite sure, but his friend Tristan helped him and now he's under arrest. I think my brother might have to suffer the same fate. Oh, come on, dude. Pick up the phone. Hello? Devin. Dude, it's me, Tristan. I'm under arrest. Are you serious? You got caught? You had one job, man. I know. I I'm sorry, but your little brother was at the pawn shop. He ambushed me. Then they called the cops on me, dude. My brother what? He knows then? He knows everything? Yeah. He also has the necklace. You idiot. Listen here, you better not tell a soul that I was involved or I'm going to ruin your entire life. Do you understand me? I promise I won't say anything. Can you just come bail me out? I want to go home. Because of all this, it seems like the best thing here is for you to learn the hard way. What? Dude, I did this all for you. It's the least you could do. I've got so much going on. I can't go to jail. You did what? Ruin all my plans? Because that's exactly what you did. Bye, Tristan. Wait, no, Devin. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. What if I get arrested too? Oh, no. I have to think of something. Thanks for coming with me, Officer Rufus. I don't know if anyone's going to believe me when I show them the necklace. Is that why you're not going inside, y'all? Yeah, I I'm worried. If my dad doesn't believe me. If he doesn't forgive me, what's he going to do? What am I going to do? You don't know until you try, y'all. You got to put faith in your family that they're going to know the truths, y'all. And I'm going to tell them. Yeah, thanks for everything. All right, I can do this. It's just talking to my dad, right? Ugh, what do you want? Oh, Officer Rufus. Well, I'm glad you found my thief of a son. Why isn't he in jail? Because I'm here to give you this, Dad. That's your mother's necklace. What, what are you doing with this? Finally felt guilty enough that you return it? No, Dad. I found it at a pawn shop. Devin stole it, and he sold it for money. No, he would never do that. Excellently? Yes, that's exactly what we did. We have his friends, Tristams, the Kramanims, and Yale, y'all. And I came here to tell you that your son is telling you the truth. Oh my gosh, Tom, I'm, I'm so sorry. I I feel terrible. You told me the whole time you were to sit and I, I didn't believe you. It's okay, Dad. But now you know the truth. Devin was the one behind all of this. What's going on here? Oh, oh my gosh. Tom, you found the necklace. Dad, can you believe it? Cut the act, Devin. We all know it was you who took the necklace in the first place. You lied to me and your brother, your entire family. What? You're blaming me? No, that... Uh, Devin, uh, where are you going? Uh, Come back here. Um, should I go after this, ma'ams? Yes, please, go after him. All right, Officer for Rufus on the case, y'all. Yes. Here you go, Tom. It's your favorite. Double bacon cheeseburger on the house. <sighs> yeah, thanks for letting me come back home. But I'll be honest, I really thought you hated me for a while. It really hurt. Look, let me explain. I saw you and your brother arguing all the time after your mom passed, and I thought you were acting out, that you didn't know how to handle your emotions. I blame myself. I should have been a better father. Dad, you're a great father. That necklace was just the last piece of your mother that we have. When it was missing, I, I just lost control of my mind, you know? Got blinded by my emotions. I never hated you. You are my son. Can you forgive me for all this? Of course I can, Dad. Man, it was really, really difficult losing Mom. But we're all the family we have now. I want to bring our family back together. Well, I'm not sure your brother's going to listen to me. And Officer Rufus hasn't been able to find him yet. It's been a few hours. I'm starting to get worried. Well, there's one person I think we should talk to. And she'll know exactly what to do. Well, I haven't been back here since, since it all happened. I find myself coming here a lot. I'm just talking to her. It kind of feels good. You should give it a try. Uh, hey, Maggie. Man, I miss you so much, sweetheart. I wish you were still here. She was the smartest person in the whole world. She'd know exactly what to do, how to get through to Devin. You know, it actually kind of feels good to be here right now. But there's something else I think we should do. Let's give your mother back her necklace. It belongs with her. You know, I got this for her for our anniversary one year. It made her so happy. And she'll be happy to have it back. What are we going to do, Tom? Your brother is just so lost. I don't think he's going to listen to us. Well, what do you think mom would do? Your mother was smart, but she was stubborn. She'd never give up. She'd be out there looking for him right now try to bring him home maybe i can get through to him he is my brother you definitely are a lot like your mother that's for sure well, i'll go out looking don't worry dad everything's gonna work out tristan hey hey tristan i need to talk to you tristan stop 
I want nothing to do with you. You're the one that turned me into the police. Look, I need your help, okay? Devin is missing. Yeah, who cares about that, huh? I do. He's my brother, and you are his best friend. You have to know where he is or where he went. Even if I did know, there's no way I was going to help you anyways. Tristan, please. You know my brother. He, he could be in trouble. Yeah, and I was in trouble too, and your brother turned his back on me. It's what he deserves. You get lost. <sighs> Gosh, well, if he's not going to help me, who will? Wait a second. So, what do you think? Think you'd be able to find him? Yeah, I have eyes and ears on the street everywhere. I can help no problem. <sighs> Thank you so much. If you see him, make sure he's okay and let me know. Oh, man. I need to find somewhere to stay, anywhere to stay. This rain is so heavy. Ah. Uh, I guess this dumpster is going to have to do. Is this really what my life has come down to now? I can't show my face to my family. They will never approve of me now. This, this just sucks. No one accepts me ever. I just wanted one thing. And look at what happened. It just backfired right in my face. Hey, you're a... Uh, you're Devin, right? You're Tom's brother. What's it to you, huh? Back off, man. I don't want any trouble. No, no, calm down, okay? Look, your brother's looking for you everywhere, and I'm sure he's worried sick. Yeah, I doubt that. Why would he be worried sick about me after everything I've done? You really don't even know, do you? Even after everything you've done to him, your brother still cares about you because you're his family. Well, that's just a bunch of lies, okay? This is all Tom's fault. Everything is Tom's fault. I wouldn't have gone and did what I did if Tom didn't steal all the attention that I wanted from my family for himself. Hey, listen, kid. I know you're going through a lot and everything, but taking it out on your own brother isn't the answer, especially after everything Tom Tom is doing for you, looking after you. Last thing I need right now is a lesson, okay? So just zip it. No, I'm not gonna zip it, okay? Your brother's worried sick and he wants to help you. Why can't you see that? Because I don't want to see that, okay? I don't want to accept it. So just back off and leave me alone. You need to go home or I'm gonna call the police and tell them to take you them themselves. Get away from me! You can't tell me what to do! I can't believe he beat you up like that. He just ran off. What is he thinking? I don't know, but uh, he hit me pretty hard. <sighs> Look, I am so sorry. I just wonder what made my brother go off the deep end. Between me and you, I think your brother's been there for quite a while, man. Seems like he hasn't been happy for the longest time. What makes you think that? I mean, if I'm being honest with you, loss can make people do things they don't normally do. It's one of the hardest things that people have to come to terms with in life. Yeah, maybe you're right. I feel like Devin's been in a lot of pain. Maybe he's just taking his anger out on me. It's exactly what I think it is. The only people that can get to him now, though, is his own family. And that includes you. Yeah, and thank you so much for helping me again. I'm just glad to know that he's okay. And thank you for everything else you've done for me. You've really become a true friend. Yeah, yeah, don't mention it. Well, there is one thing I need to do. I have to give you this. Wait, 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 hold on. No, I can't accept that, kid, all right? I shouldn't be rewarded for being a good person. Just That should just come naturally. Yeah, no. Oh, no, of course, but just think of it as a token of gratitude and how thankful I am to have met you. You can use this to build your life back up like the way you want to. No one's ever given me anything ever in life. Um, thank you so much. Your friend said he saw him around here? Yeah, and maybe he's still around. Look, it's Devin. He's right there. What is he doing? Devin! Devin, please stop. Get away from me. Oh my gosh, Devin, knock it off with the dramatics, okay? Just come home. No, Dad, whenever it comes to me, you always just blow it off. Always. Well, guess what? My emotions matter too. Of course they matter, Devin. They matter to me and Dad the most. Why are you taking this all out on me? Because, Tom, it's always been your fault. Ever since the day you were born, everything has shifted from me to you. You and Mom were the closest, but now she's gone. And ever since then, you've been taking Dad away from me slowly but surely. Devin, come on. Your mother and I love the two of you equally. You can say that all you want, but it's just going in one ear out the other for me, Dad. Exactly. Devin, you're not listening to us. You're upset and you're frustrated and you're mad. You just need to calm down and come home. We can talk about this. I'm not going to come home. I'm never coming home. I'm going to go be around people that actually want to be around me. Devin, we want you around. Just stop it. No, I'm not going to jail. You're going to call the cops and have me arrested for what I did. No, we're not. Just calm down. Look, Devin, I'm sorry you're going through all of this, but your brother and I are here for you. Don't turn your backs on us now. Too late. I already am. Devin, please! Devin! Where did he go? Ugh, where did I go wrong? No, you didn't go wrong, Dad. I think I know exactly where Devin's going. <laughs> I know. I miss her a lot, too. I don't know what to do with myself. Pretty sure she's ashamed of everything I did, framing you and everything. You know that's not true. She'd forgive you, just like Dad and I will. You would seriously forgive me after everything I've done? Well, what you did was pretty dumb. You should have just talked to us. You're right, Tom. I'm sorry, okay? I just, I didn't know. You don't have to say anything else. We're brothers. I love you and I forgive you.